Ozzy Adam. Good day, mates. Adam from Australia here with a question about Monty Brown. He seemed like a surefire main eventer for TNA before leaving for WWE, then just leaving the business entirely. What did you think of him as a talent? Any good stories? Why uh, did he leave wrestling and he never returned? Well, I, I don't have any stories about him, but I do remember Monty. Very uh, friendly guy. Great athlete. I think he played uh, on two teams that went to the Super Bowl. And then he got traded to the other team the next year. He went to the Super Bowl. And I thought he had a, a lot of upside uh, to him. And he got over in TNA pretty well. But then he had a chance, of course, to go to the mothership, uh, the WWF. E. It was a WWE E. And he went, and I was highly disappointed in how they used him. This guy was a main event guy, good talker, good looking guy, great athlete. He seemed to me exactly what WWE was looking for. But yet, when he got there, they gave him some kind of name. I forgot the name they gave him Marcus Corvon. Which is sort of quite French sounding, isn't it? Uh, and I never got it why they gave him that name. But, and he lasted there, I don't know, not long, maybe, I'm going to say a year. He may have lasted more. I don't know. How long did, was he in WWE? I'd suggest, yeah, I think that's about right, about a year. And then he had some sort of like family issue where family he just said, problems. I don't even know well, what the family problems were. No, he had a sister. Something had happened to her legally. She was involved in a shooting or something. I think she was either arrested. And he had a couple more sisters, younger sisters. And I don't know where their parents were or Monty's mother and father. But he went back. I think he was from Detroit or Michigan or somewhere. And he went back in order to, to take care of them, which is a noble reason for him to do that, to take care of his family. And Monty Brown, to me, if I saw him today, I would just start talking to him like I saw him last week because he's a good talker. And I considered him a friend. And he had his upside in wrestling was I thought he could go just as far as he wanted to go. I would like to see a Monty Brown and a Rock together right now mm. because I think they would fit. Because uh, what's the name of Rock's partner in the movies? What's his name? The little short guy? Oh, Kevin, Ke Kevin Hart. Oh, yeah. He could have been to Kevin Hart before Kevin Hart because he's funny. And, you know, I think I think the Rock and and, uh, and Monty would have got along well. Mm. But I think that's a missed opportunity for the wrestling business. But, of course, if, if he left it for those reasons to take care of his family, more power to him. Yeah, I think you're right. I, I liked his finisher. I liked, I liked him. Absolutely. I thought he had tons of upside. Um, I'm going to just tell you this. Uh, Saginaw, Michigan, you were right there. It was Michigan. And the two teams he played for were the Buffalo Bills and the New England Patriots. I got it right? Yes. See, I didn't have to make anything up, <laughs> see? No, I didn't want to. I, 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 knew, <coughs> I knew he worked for, he, he wrestled, I mean, he played for two teams that went to the Super Bowl. Yeah. So. 